All right, 0302 classes. You have an exam coming up this Thursday. I wanted to um, <clears throat> do a quick little video of showing you how to work through the review problems that I gave you in class to do today. Um, first, though, just a couple things about the exam. Um, I would expect it to be about 10 to 12 problems. You are allowed to bring one single 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. That's just a standard sheet of paper. <clears throat> you can write on one side of this only. And what you can have here are formulas. You can have steps, different sorts of hints to yourself on how to do things. <clears throat> but what you cannot have are just worked out problems. So make sure you don't put any worked examples on this or you won't be able to use it. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Let me now work through these problems and clear my throat. Hold on. All right. Number 58. So I've done all the work. I just want to talk through things. Uh, number 58, you're asked to add these two uh, polynomials together. You have parentheses here, parentheses here. And because you have an addition sign between, all you have to do is drop parentheses, which I've done. And once you drop parentheses, now you just go to see if you can collect any like terms together. And let's see if I have any like terms. Um, nope, it doesn't look like anything here goes together. Um, oh, wait, y to the fourth. There we go. Negative y to the fourth and 8 y to the fourth. So you're going to basically take a negative 1, you add 8, that's 7. So that's why you get 7 y to the fourth. And then the rest of the terms, you just write those out. Um, it does not matter what order you put these in, as long as you have the terms with the correct signs in front of each term, the order um, really doesn't matter. Okay, next problem. <clears throat> you have parentheses again. This time, though, you have a minus sign in between. So because there's a minus, you must distribute a negative through the parentheses to each term, each of the three terms, which changes the signs. So you get a negative 8x squared y, you get a positive xy, you get a negative 5y squared. And now again, you collect like terms together. Let's see what we've got here. <clears throat> I've got two x squared y's. I have negative 8x squared y. Put that together, I get negative 6x squared y. I have positive 5xy, and then I have plus another 1xy. That gives me a plus 6xy. And then finally, I have minus y squared. That's minus 1y squared, and then a plus 5y squared. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4, so we get 4y squared. Again, order doesn't matter. You just need those three terms. <clears throat> the next problem is multiplication. So notice we don't have any addition or subtraction here. So all that we have to do is just multiply. We can just basically drop these parentheses out and multiply things. So I just kind of rearrange things. I put my numbers together. I put my x's side by side and my y's side by side. So I do that here on the second line. I'm going to multiply 2 thirds times 9, which is the same as 2 thirds times 9 over 1. Multiplying straight across, I get 18. Multiplying straight across the bottom, I get 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6, so that's this. And then x squared times x to the 6, I take the two exponents and add them. That gives me an 8. y here to the first power, y to the fifth, add the exponents, get 6. So that's the answer. Okay, on the next one, we're multiplying a binomial times a binomial. So we're going to do the 3x times the negative 2x. I'm sorry, 3x times 2x. That gives me 6x squared. Then I do 3x times positive 9. 3 times 9 is 27. And then I still have the x there, 27x. On the inside terms here, negative 1y times 2x gives me a negative 2, and then I have the x and the y. And then the last term, negative 1y times 9, is negative 9y. And none of those are like terms, so I can't collect anything together. So that's my answer. OK, <clears throat> number 76. I have a binomial times a trinomial. So I'm going to multiply a times 4a squared, which gives me 4a cubed. A times negative AB gives me a negative A squared B. A times positive 3B squared gives me a positive 3AB squared. And now I move to the negative 1 and distribute that through. So negative 1 times 4A squared is negative 4A squared. All that's happening here are signs are changing. Negative times negative gives me positive here. So positive AB. And then finally, negative 3B squared. None of those terms are like terms, so that's the answer. Number 90, 
we have a binomial and we're squaring it. So that means to put the binomial times itself and then just do your multiplication and expansion. Y times Y is Y squared. Y times 13 is 13Y. Inside terms, 13 times Y is 13Y, and 13 times 13 is 169. I can combine the middle two terms together because they're like terms. That gives me a 26Y. The two outside terms, nothing happens. They just stay the same. So there's your answer. <clears throat> 22A is long division. So we take the numerator, make sure it's in descending order, make sure there's no gaps. We put our denominator on the outside, and now we ask ourselves, what do we multiply 2x by to get 10x squared? Well, we need to turn 2 into a 10, so we multiply by a 5. We need to turn x into x squared, so we also need an x. Now I take that 5x and I multiply this whole thing by 5x, which I did over here. Distribute that through. You get 10x squared minus 15x. Put that underneath right here. And then remember, once you put it through here, you draw your, your line here, and you change the signs, and then add down. Adding down, my 10x squareds cancel. Uh, negative 1x plus 15x becomes 14x. Negative 29 and nothing is negative 29. <clears throat> then I ask myself the question again, what do I multiply 2x by to get negative 14x? Well, all I need is a 7, and that'll do it. So I put a 7 here on top. Multiply that 7 through to both terms again. I did that right here. <clears throat> Distribute my 7 through. I get 14x minus 21. Now I put that right here. Come through with my line. Change the signs. <clears throat> and add down. My 14x is cancel. I have negative 29 plus 21. That gives me negative 8. That's my remainder. So my answer is the 5x up here plus 7, which is this then plus the remainder, negative 8, over the divisor, so 2x minus 3. Okay, next problem, 22b. So we have the original problem was 8x cubed minus 27 over 2x minus 3. What we need to do is make sure we rewrite this numerator in the division box, accounting for the spaces. We don't have an x squared term. We don't have an x term, so we put 0x squared and 0x. That helps us line things up later. Okay, now I ask myself, what do I multiply 2x by to get 8x cubed? Well, a 4 will turn the 2 into an 8, and x squared will turn the x into an x cubed. So I multiply by 4x squared. That 4x squared gets multiplied times both of these, which I do over here. Distribute through. You get this. Put that underneath right there. Change the signs. Add down. When you add down, you have nothing here plus 12x squared. It gives you 12x squared there. And then nothing comes down, and then negative 27 comes down. So now we ask ourselves the same thing earlier. What do we, what do we multiply 2x by to create a 12x squared? Well, I need a 6 and an x. So I put that up here, 6x. Multiply that through to both of these. I do that on the side. Distribute. I get this, 12x squared minus 18x. I put that right here, change the signs, add down, the 12x squareds cancel. My negative 18x became positive 18x. I add it to nothing, so just 18x appears here, and then negative 27 comes down. Now, can I turn 2x into 18x? Yes, by multiplying by 9. So I multiply 9 times this. That's this on the side. Distribute through. I get 18x minus 27. I put that right here. <clears throat> I change the signs, minus and plus. When I add down, I get 0. That's my remainder. Therefore, my answer is everything that was up here since I have no remainder, which I just put right there. <clears throat> All right. Next, number 20, or sorry, number 18. So the original problem, we're going to do this by synthetic division. The original problem, x cubed minus x squared plus 11x minus 1 over x plus 1. So what we're doing is we're grabbing the coefficients, 1, negative 1, positive 11, negative 1. We're putting them in our synthetic division box here. And then we're taking the opposite of this number here and putting it here, and then carrying through with our synthetic. Bring this down, that's 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Put it here. Add down negative 2. Multiply negative 1 times negative 2 gives me 2. 
Add straight down, you get 13. Negative 1 times 13 gives me negative 13. Add straight down, you get negative 14. Now the answer, we use the 1, the negative 2, and the 13, and then our remainder. So the 1 is the coefficient sitting in front of x squared. And we get x squared by taking one power less than what we started with. We started with x cubed up here. With synthetic division, the answer will always start one power less. So one, one power less than x cubed is x squared. And then the rest of these numbers just get thrown in front of x's, and, and you just keep decreasing the power on x. So we have negative 2x, and then the x is going to go away, so we just have 13. And then we take our remainder, negative 14, and we divide it by our divisor, which was here in the beginning of the problem. Okay, on the second, um, or last problem here on the review, we had the original problem was x to the fourth minus 10x cubed plus 31x squared minus 38x plus 40, all divided by x minus 5. So we looked at the numbers here, 1, negative 10, positive 31, negative 38, positive 40. We put those numbers here. We take the opposite of negative 5, which is positive 5, and then we do our synthetic, and I'll let you go through that yourself. The important thing is you get a remainder of 0, which means that these numbers represent our coefficients. Um, and the power here will be cubed because the original power on the problem in the numerator was 4. So 1 less than 4 is 3. And then I just bring those coefficients down. 1x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6x and then minus 8. And box that up. That's your answer. All right. Hope that helps out. I'll see you on Thursday.